What is going on YouTube? Hannah Beck making another brand new Crypto TV episode. In today's video, we are going to be looking at XRP, Ethereum, Bitcoin, as well as, you guessed it, the S&P 500. Specifically, in today's video, we have to talk about the markets correcting, actually hitting that resistance that we've been pretty much tracking for days now on Bitcoin and XRP, and now we're starting to see the market slide downwards. And I want to just show you guys just a reference really quick. The past couple of days, we've been pretty much tracking a few things. So you can see here about three days ago, even though it's delayed late here, but it will update soon, that we were looking at this resistance being retested on Bitcoin. You can see how prices we did see explode to the upside with just sheer momentum and volume. Um, problem was a lot of people were like, oh, we're out of the bull, the bear market. Oh, we're going to start to see prices swing up. Oh, we're headed back to all time highs. No, no, don't jump the gun here. Prices were shooting up. That's great. But it was an unexpected turn. As markets started to veer upwards, we started to get into contact very quickly with some very strong resistances, uh, formerly known as the daily moving averages, which you can see here we drew twice and we kind of consolidated at those levels for a few days, actually. You can see then moving forward, we also started to notice some interesting, uh, more so ascending and symmetrical triangle patterns forming on four hour charts here. And you can see how they were going to come to an end very quickly, or at least the decision where we would have to figure out what exactly was going to happen. You can see here for XRP specifically, prices broke downwards. You can see for Ethereum, we got rejected off the top resistance here. Bitcoin uh, reversed off its moving average as expected as prices were extremely, extremely overbought on the four hour charts here and the rejection of the moving average would cause us to dip lower. Now we're actually retesting a pretty solid support level that we have to go over later on today. And then the S&P 500 is also slightly getting rejected from this downtrend here. We have crossed above this uh, falling wedge fractal this resistance in the past here on numerous occasions, but we are going to see how we play out today. Ideally, if things wanted to play correctly, and I know you guys are going to hate me for saying this, uh, would be for us to continue to dip lower uh, because there's not really many reasons why we should continue to drive prices up higher. I just don't think it's necessary just yet. So I am expecting very much so for prices to get back down to 4100. I know this is crazy, but I will talk about this more uh, with you guys later on. With that being said, guys, today's video is brought to us by Best Change. Best Change has been a long time a sponsor here on the channel. Best Change basically is a way for you guys to exchange cryptocurrencies that you might not be able to on certain exchanges that you currently use, which is really cool. And I definitely recommend checking it out. So a lot of people are like, oh, well, uh, the exchange that I use doesn't actually have Coinbase, doesn't have a Bitcoin to a Ripple or XRP exchange. Oh, how do I do that? Well, you can see here, you just literally choose those two. And then you go over to reviews. I like to sort them by the top here, just so I can see the most positive one. And you can see this has 650 positive reviews here. Obviously, the website also sifts through them prior to listing, but you can see here it shows the results the amount of tokens they actually have. So if you need a lot, you have to find one that has a lot of tokens or ones with, you know, that might cover what you need. So 3000 tokens might not be enough for you. You can see the amount, maximum amount of currency Ripple XRP can actually have and that you can, which can give the, uh, you know, the flash, uh, Obmin, that's the exchange here. That's the amount they can give, but there are ones that have a lot more. So if you just pick one that you have, it will then bring you over, direct you to that website, and then you're actually able to, you know, exchange that, you know, currency, which is super cool. So more information about Best Change will be at the end of today's video. So stay tuned for that. I've also linked them, like I said, down in the description below, or the first time saying it, down in the description below. So definitely make sure to check them out too, because they are really cool. With this all being said, guys, definitely make sure to smash the like button, turn on post notifications, subscribe, and let's dive into today's episode. So guys, first and foremost, markets are down. This is expected. This is why we haven't been trading. This is why we've been pretty precautious on when we were going to be uh, investing back into these cryptocurrencies, because as you know, we were hitting some pretty strong, aggressive resistance levels here. Uh, which were more than likely not going to be breaking above. And we'd probably actually start to see markets start to stem down. And that's what's happening here, clear as day. You can see Bitcoin is is drooping 5%, Ethereum dropping uh, or drooping, whatever, uh, down 6%. And then we have other cryptocurrencies like XRP down 4% and the prices just continue to go down. Um, this is expected. Markets are expecting to see this dip. I mean, it was very much so expected on Bitcoin here. You can see for a majority of its time retesting that top resistance, which is the moving average was right around here on the daily. You can see we were extremely, and I mean extremely overbought on the four hour charts. So we're in a good situation right now though, because you can see 
Not only do we have this price floor in blue, which cuts across, but we've managed to get the moving averages to catch up. So this is also helping the prices stay afloat. So we'll see, hopefully, if we could hold this. If we can, this might be an opportunity to can, you know, expect to see another rebound retest. I won't buy in then, but it's just something to consider. If we break through this, however, that would basically, uh, you know, swing me over the ledge to assume that we are going to continue to drop lower and then I would put in a uh, short position on Bityard which we can talk about later but guys moving on to XRP you guys can see the pattern that was developing here so I didn't delete this descending fractal but you can see for the most part there was some sort of developing ascending triangle there was clearly some sort of resistance where prices continuously was retesting this top here you can also see prices had a higher low formation here and clearly we got rejected off the top resistance causing prices to dip lower we are intertwined however with the four hour moving averages. So that's not a bad thing. Uh, we might be able to hold this support here, but you can see for the most part, what actually is happening is we did clearly get rejected off the top moving averages here. We have a daily moving average that's kind of just floating around here, which I said, if we're going to buy in for a long position, just because we closed above this, you know, descending fractal, just because we closed above it here, doesn't mean we should buy in. And I'm glad we didn't because if we did, prices would have just continued to stem lower. What we would be waiting for to buy in long is if we can break through this top resistance here. This moving average is the problem. If we have the price break us through that, then we could buy in with expectations of seeing prices swing up to 90 cents. It didn't happen, so we are inclined now to think more so that this correction and drop is going to come. Now, moving forward, you guys can see we are starting to fall off, and we're actually using the top resistance here. This resistance is now acting as a downward support, so we might actually start to trend on this. I'm not entirely sure. Regardless, I'm still being patient on my XRP trade. It just doesn't seem like something I want to put my money into just yet. There's a lot more risk and factors that we have um, you know, uh, specifically analyzed and focused on just yet. There are lots of, you know, different um, sorts of information that are popping up, different indicators are popping up as the price continues to move on. So really, I'm not looking just yet to buy into XRP. There is might be some sort of like uptrend here, maybe that we could use as reference. I don't know how sturdy this is, though. No, it doesn't look like something I would use. But um, that's pretty much so I've been putting XRP for the most part on the back burner. We'll see how we play out here there's a chance a big chance we could float back down to our rock solid support and then we might consider uh doing a different investment opportunity there but ethereum as expected rejected off its resistance up here you can see this one clearly cut through and because we rejected off that it was expected to see a downturn very much so with bitcoin and the other cryptos this was the biggest uh factor here and really what i'm waiting for uh to buy in you can see though if i just extend our view up this is a this this blue band here is acting as a very strong support I'm just drawing it in so you guys can see how much so we've been either bouncing off top support or bouncing off bottom support or bouncing off top resistance here. But you can see for the most part, we either bounce off of it. It either rejects and falls or it either bounce and reverses. So there is a lot of history with this support level here. Um, ideally, after the bullish break to the upside that we had a few days ago, it was expected that we would start to retest this. This is a critical area here, which we are most likely going to see prices get rejected off of. This moving average, as well as the uptrend and some other resistances, clearly show that we've had trouble breaking through it in the past. And if we did break through it, if we actually managed to do that three days ago or any time now, break through this, then I would be inclined to buy in with a long position because we would be in the clear. We would have a lot of stability and volume break us through that. Problem is we didn't, and it was expected that we weren't going to. So now here we are falling back down to retest our bottom support. So how I want to set up a trade, my focus now is on Bitcoin, focusing specifically on how we react with this support level here. If we see prices close us below, I would say conservatively, 41k if we close below 41k let's say we close anywhere below 40,000 if we close at 40.5 let's say below 40.5 or lower it is expected that we are going to see a downturn which could swing us down much lower potentially all the way down to 30k so there's not much support in between 40 and 30k it's what you guys have to consider here what the only thing holding the price up right now is that 41k barrier so hopefully we can stay above this and see a reversal but the ideal scenarios were not we're probably going to expect to see a dip like this so just be on the radar here i'm getting ready to buy in on bityard you can see i have my bitcoin chart pulled up i'm just ready for this to actually break through and what you can see is the uh, 25 and 7 day moving averages if we break through this here 
big drop is coming. That's what I'd wait for. That's what I would short over here. I did link BitYard in the description. Definitely make sure to check them out. You can get free cryptocurrency by clicking uh, this mystery box over here. Super cool. And lastly, to wrap up with the S&P 500, um, you can see, guys, I'm expecting to see this dip. I don't want to say that there's a bottom just yet. It would be great if this was the bottom here. It would be really great if that was the bottom um, because that would basically mark a 13% drop from the high. You can see ideally that this would be a 13% drop. Let me just pull up the price range here from the top. You can see 14.6 or ideally 13.6 would be the ideal drop that we had. If this is true, then hey, we're going to continue to break up. That'd be great. That would call the bottom. But I, I just have this hunch that because there's a lot of things, unforeseen things happening right now uh, in preparation for when the rate hikes do come and what the plan is with that, uh, we might see prices continue to drop lower. We have yet to break through this resistance. Sure, yesterday we did get a little bit above here, um, as we have done in the past. So it's no like surprise that it's it's not something to be like, oh, great, we just broke bullish. No, it still needs to you know really confirm that we're above here. And I'd say probably above 4,500 would give me enough reason to buy in here. Um, or nah, maybe just above 4466. If we retest this, I'd say, okay, there's a chance we could break up through it. Um, but you can see we've had problems with it in the past. So ideally, I want to see prices close this above this moving average for me to say, okay, I'm going to buy in and leverage to the upside here. Regardless, there is a bearish cross forming right now. There is a bearish cross, which is a huge sign that, hey, we're probably going to dip lower. And for reference, if we just scroll back to the last time, we had a daily bearish cross happened right here back in March of 2020. So this is the first time, you know, we do get above it pretty quickly. It was March 13th that we had the bearish cross and it was May 6th that we had the bullish cross. Um, but I think we're just now starting to see what could be pretty uh, bearish corrections here. So with this crossing here, with us hitting resistance, if we can stay above this, then that's a good sign. If we can just play out of this, that's a good sign. But this resistance is going to be, this support's going to be retested. This resistance is currently being retested. We might fill in the gap here and we could break below it. I'm really looking more for something like this to happen. I don't want to say it's going to be that low that quickly, but at least coming back down to 4,100 is where my uh, next immediate uh, goal would be for this coin. The next target would be, do I want it to happen? No, but that's what I'm expecting to happen. Otherwise, guys, I do want to talk more about best change with you i want to give a huge shout out to best chains for sponsoring today's episode as with all cryptocurrency projects please do your own research and never invest anything you can't afford to lose so guys as you know trading in the u.s has become quite difficult on exchanges recently but did you know that there is a wikipedia like search engine out there that lets you compare all of them now best change is a platform where you can buy and sell crypto and fiat now best change monitors exchange rates and several hundred reliable exchanges and equips you with all the information you need to select the best exchange to transfer your money now their table shows the best exchange rates for the 20 most popular pairs with the best rates on top. And other relevant information is available in icons next to the exchange's name and columns to its right. Now, in order to exchange, simply select the exchange pair in the panel on the left and then select an exchange out of the list of trusted and reliable ones. Now, keep in mind, some exchanges can be fraudulent and others lack a lot of cryptos and small tokens, but BestChange solves this with their exchange monitors. Now, bestchange.com is a directory of selected, trusted, and reliable exchanges, unlike random ones on the internet and on their website you can find out where you can buy sell exchange dozens of popular cryptocurrencies and e-currencies or purchase those with debit or credit cards or various payment systems now their monitor is easy to use with no special knowledge or skills needed on their intuitive interface now they offer 250 plus exchanges to be exact and they offer a convenient system that lets you browse them and you can even find icons informing about special conditions of an exchange information pages of the exchange and even reviews left by real customers as well as they even offer options to set up notifications to track when some of the exchanges offer a desired exchange rate or has the necessary amount of reserves. Now, it is even possible to exchange without verification and at good rates. And they also offer a cool converter on the bottom of the site where you can convert currencies to see the rates before you make your exchange. Now, guys, Best Change constantly queries dozens of reliable and trusted e-money exchanges to obtain the most recent changes in exchange rates, determine trends on the crypto exchange market, and reflect them in an easy-to-read chart and tables. Now, guys, Best Change was created with security 
security in mind, which means that they pay the utmost attention to the reputation and reliability of the cryptocurrency exchanges that they work with. And all of them have been thoroughly selected to offer the highest level of service and customer support. So dealing with them is extremely reliable. Now guys, since its foundation 14 years ago, Best Change has become a reliable partner for dozens of crypto exchanges and a reliable tool for thousands of users worldwide looking for a fast and hassle-free monitor of virtual currencies. Now, if your business involves multi-currency payments that need to be cross-converted on a regular basis, make sure to bookmark their site as it will help you avoid unnecessary losses during conversion and offer a one-stop currency exchange experience. So guys, for more information about Best Change, definitely make sure to check out the links in the description of today's video. Otherwise, huge shout out to Best Change for sponsoring today's episode. As always, make sure to smash the like button for the YouTube algorithm, turn on post notifications, subscribe, and I'll see you in tomorrow's video. Peace.